right, let's take a look inside of here. This is a, a rifle scope with laser sight. So it's kind of got both both ideas. Uh, I'm not sure whether that uh, that reactive uh, red dot is actually uh, maybe better. Uh, I, I've been seeing that that might be better than the laser sight. But, you know, um, since I've never played around with this stuff before, since I've never played around with this stuff before, I really don't know um, what what is better to get at this time. So I just bought this thinking it would be better than, than nothing. Okay, so it does have, I noticed that it has a filter, which can be used at night or whatever, which is kind of cool, right? Um, let's see what's inside. It's kind of heavy. That's weird. Allen wrenches. Okay, let me open this thing up, and I will show you what it what I've got here. All right, so I just pulled the plastic off, and this is how it's coming in the thing. Wow, it's pretty nice, really. Uh, cleaning cloth there. Wow, look at that. So, okay, it's already together. There's your laser and your sight. Uh, crosshairs. This is nice. This is really nice. Um, back when I was in rifle team, I didn't have to actually... Let me try to aim it at something here. I didn't have to... Oh, yeah. Look at that. We were using iron sights. We never used scope. This was a long time ago, back when I was in ROTC. Uh, so we were using... Um, regular iron sights but this is certainly going to make the job easier if i can get it centered cool i just did some instructions and cleaning cloth so let's finish taking a look at this bushnell ls3 it's really well made I'm impressed with the fittings and the way that it, it handles. Uh, it seems to magnify and your eye gets a good clear picture, even in the distance. This is a, called a sunshade. That's what it is. Um, it fits on the front, you know, on here. And then this goes on the back. And that's actually to make it, it's like a filter to help you see in bright sunlight. Let's take a look at a couple other things. One, the laser. So when you're putting the batteries both in here and in here, both sets of batteries that I got with this were actually old and these were leaking so I didn't even put them in the laser. I just went and bought new ones. But they're readily available in the store. So uh, the positive should face towards the end of the cap. So positive out. Also, positive out on here, right? So, pushing the button, you got your laser light. You can see out there, it's very bright. Even in the look of the, uh, with all the lights on in the house, it's still very bright. So, in most cases, you'll be able to see it. I think in bright sunlight, you wouldn't even really need it. The scope works pretty well. But let me show you this. So... At night, the scope lights up like this, so that will help you, there you go, that'll help you see, actually the camera is kind of hard to do that, but your eye does not do that a lot, so it's really easy to see. And let's do red, so you can see it with the red version as well, there we go. Very bright crosshairs in here. So even without the op, without the uh, electronics, this thing would be quite a good scope. But with all the added electronics, I'm really impressed with it. It's not even very expensive. So I think I would definitely pick one of these up. I'm going to put it on the crossbow now and see how it actually shoots, and I'll show you that in a later video. So there is a difference between... If the animal, you are hunting it, 
and it's trying to stay away from you or doesn't want to make contact with you, that is definitely one thing for sure. Uh, and in that case, you need something like the scope, okay? Because you're gonna have to punch out long distances to hunt the animal and be able to, I'm, I'm hoping this works well. I will let you know if I can get it sighted in and work well. Um, but the other circumstance is if you are the one being hunted and that's what the spear gun is for. I've thought about this a lot. In a crossbow, you're going to get one shot. You're only going to get one shot uh, in something like this crossbow up here. You're only going to get one shot. Even if you had a repeating crossbow, you're not going to get more than one shot. And the reason for that is it's going to take you about two seconds to recock it, even if it's going to feed the bolts itself. And in most animal attack situations, you're not going to get the second shot off. That's just clear. So you need something with some heavy-duty hitting power, which is what a spear does for you. This is a very heavy metal spear, and I'm telling you what, it's going to stick in the animal. It's not going to bring it down, but at least it would slow it down a lot. It's going to make it very uncomfortable for it to chase you. So that's the point. Where our um, cabin in the woods is located, there is boar, wild boar. There are wolves, which we've literally seen, and there is bears. There is a possibility for bear bear to be there as well. So I think those are the only major ones to worry about. But you can see that there are definitely the possibility of, you know, you're out there picking up some mushrooms or whatever, and, you, you know, something starts to run at you. You know, that's what I think this is best for. I think this would be more effective than the crossbow for that circumstance. We're going to open this today, and I just... I, I believe this is an extra string which I bought, which I would suggest that you guys do. If you are um, preparing in any way. So, this is an extra crossbow string. And it's actually made by the company, so that I think that's pretty good, right? It's not expensive, it's good to have. Why? Why is it good to have? Because you can make one of these on the Slingshot channel. The guy tells you how to make one of these and how to you know string it back and then record it and all this so if you're interested yes you can make one but you know if you buy it now then you have it one more thing I want to say is that the if you've got a bug out bag and you could only take one of these definitely take the scope it's much brighter and easier to use of course there's other reasons but this is pretty good, but I would just leave these at home and take this. It's, it's smaller too, right? It's, it's much brighter. It gathers much more light. And it gets almost as close, to be honest with you. Uh, I think the optics in this are much better than the optics in a cheap, cheaper pair of uh, um, binoculars. And I'm really impressed with the quality of this. I, I'm kind of shocked. Matter of fact, if you turn it upside down like this and look through it, it becomes a, a definite, like a microscope almost, you know, uh, which could be useful, you know, in a, in a situation. You might need to see something up close, some injury or something maybe, you know. So it's things to think about. Definitely I'm impressed with this. This is a Bushnell. Um, let me see the front. I did not expect it to be as nice as this. Mm-hmm. Pretty nice thing. It wasn't expensive either. So let's talk about preparedness a little bit and what that means. If you have a place to go to, like a bug out location, if on the off chance, I really think that in most cases, it's going to be okay. I think that but the world is in a strange place. So you have to start thinking about preparedness and you have to start thinking about what you might need in order to hunt 
Uh, if you've, let me know in the comments if any of you have actually been hunting before, uh, and if you've ever been attacked by a large animal. Um, I've had both of these experiences. I'm not a great hunter or anything, but I did get attacked one time by a large boar, but my car was close by. I was able to jump in the car, and uh, he was running at me, and I was able to... The, the boar was literally the size of the door of my car. It was in a special area, uh, if you guys know about um, the Space Coast in F Central Florida. Uh, there's the um, Kennedy Space Center, and there's land that's uh, around this, which is a natural reserve, uh, a nature reserve. And the animals in there are not allowed to be hunted. Uh, because of that, boars, I think, you guys can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, they're the type of animal that will continue to grow until it dies of natural causes or hunted. So this thing, the shoulders were up to my waist. It was huge. It was literally huge. Uh, and it decided to come at me when I was there. But I was able to get in the car and get away.